Check one, two, one, two, one, two. And now, where indie music comes alive. Broadcasting live worldwide, plus on demand 24 7, and hosted by Hall of Fame personality Dave Pratt. N987. The World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. Breaking the sound barrier. Love this name. One Man for All Men. Norman Salit. This guy's done so much. Norman Salit has been a songwriter for well over 20 years. He's written hits for Air Supply. Well, that's over 20 years. I mean, Here I Am. You guys remember that song, Here I Am? I'd sing it for you, but I want you to really enjoy the countdown. Wow, he uh, that that's a big tune. Yeah, that's a, that's more than 20 years ago, I guarantee you. Uh, here I Am. Uh, he also wrote songs for the late Selena. He has worked with other artists such as Johnny Mathis, Art Garfunkel, Debbie Boone, Barry White. Wow. And more. He currently resides in Southern California with his wife, Judy, and his daughter, Abby. And now Norman is pursuing acting and has starred in two national commercials. On the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown Hotline, we have Norman Salit. Hi, Norman. Hey, Dave. How you doing, man? Thank you for having me. Well, it's great to have you on. You have done so much, my friend. Where should we start here? Oh, well, first of all, I want to say that looking back, on it, I am so thankful and so lucky that uh, I'll start right at the beginning by just saying that my credo is just, it's all about the song. And that that's what I was taught all those years ago, and I never steered away from that. So I guess that's where we should start. Norman, I've always wanted to ask a, a big songwriter this question. How do you write a hit song? So, Air Supply, Here I Am. That song was top of the charts. Do you start with the music? Do you start with the vocals? Where, where do you start? Well, with me, I've always started with the music first because I needed a, a foundation or a format to write the lyrics to. So with Here I Am, uh, just when I thought I was over you, believe it or not, I originally wrote that song for Barry Manilow. Because at that time, I had never heard of Air Supply. They had not been out yet. And thank God, Clive Davis plucked me out of obscurity, and he heard that song, and I thought for sure that Clive, when he called me, I thought for sure he was going to say, it's perfect for Barry, which he did, and then he said, but I'm not going to record it with Barry. He said, I found a new group from Australia called Air Supply, and he said, Norman, someday you're going to thank me. (laughs) <laughs> and I've been thanking him ever since, Dave. You know what, Norman? Now that you mention it, though, it sounds exactly like a Barry Manilow tune. Yeah, exactly. I strictly honed in on Barry Manilow because when I first heard Mandy, I was just, like the whole world, we were all blown away. And, yeah, it was designed for Barry, but whenever Russell and Graham put their air supply to it, man. It was like unbelievable. <laughs> Norman, does Barry know that that song could have come his That's way? A good question. That is a good question. I still don't know the answer to that question. Because <laughs> he'd be like, I'm afraid darn to it, ask. Norman, come on, where's that tune? <laughs> I know, I'm afraid to ask, man. I mean, every time I've been in the position to even hint about asking that question, something inside me says, don't go there. <laughs> and, and so that's one question I may never know the answer to. If Barry finds out, a good question. you're going to get a phone call from Barry going, Norman, you owe me one. You owe me <laughs> and one. And I'd gladly write him one, man. <laughs> what an artist. Hey, uh, and you're also a performer. Are you, as a songwriter, are you ever regretful for not keeping your hit songs for yourself? 
no. At first, Dave, at first, I thought, you know, I was going to come out to California from Pennsylvania. I was going to do the artist thing, which I did. I got signed to RCA Records, and here I am was on that album. And I got to tell you, when I did that album, that was the hardest work I had ever done, Dave, in my life. And I said to myself right then and there, if this album, for some magical reason, takes off, I don't know if if I have another one in me. And then um, Eric Supply, I mean, Clive came along and just, he must have heard that because I respect all the artists because I had a taste of what it's like doing a 11, 12 song album, and it is beyond exhausting. But boy, Norman, that time in your career, when you think about that era of music to be included in the RCA stable of artists, oh, oh. oh yeah, wow. I mean, I was, I was just to, to be quite honest with you, Dave. Coming from a small town in Pennsylvania, a town called Butler, Pennsylvania. You always, and then you end up in, in, you know, Hollywood, California. I was always so, um, n- not nervous, but always so afraid. And I always kept my nose to the grindstone and never really looked up to read the press, to see what was on the chart, to do this, to do that, because I was a- afraid to look. So all I was doing consistently every day was just writing and writing and writing and going in and record because in my heart I felt, well, no one can hear or see what I'm doing in the studio. They only get to hear the song. And that's why, you know, whenever I got on RCA, I was really honored to be with people. I was on there with Rick Springfield and a lot of different people. Oh yeah, that huge artist then. And now I'm I'm looking that you're you're doing national commercials. Are is that the the acting part? Or are you doing the music for these commercials? What are you doing, Norman? Well, that's the acting part. But you know what? That that's one of the things that I've always wanted to do. And now I get a little chance, you know, to toy with that. But that's that's not something that I'm really um, actively pursuing. You know, my heart's in music and. You know, that's, that's where it's going to stay. It's just, you know, just keep writing the best songs you can write, and that means lyrically as well as musically. And um, just trying to get more records recorded by the big artists. And you know, Norman, with commercials, since we, we brought up Barry Manlow earlier in our conversation, I mean, there's a guy that jingle after jingle after jingle, Dr. Pepper, Coca-Cola, Band-Aid, uh, whatever the insurance company was. <laughs> yeah, McDonald's. McDonald's. <laughs> right. I mean, he Have it your way. Kid. That's Barry Manilow. That's right. Norman yeah. McDonald's. I forgot about McDonald's. Yeah, that was a huge one, Dave. That was a big one, man. Yeah, but he... I'll never forget driving across country, hearing the first time Mandy. Oh, my Lord. I, I literally had to pull the car over and just say, what? am I listening to? Mm-hmm. This is phenomenal. See, and it's Clyde Davis. It's, it's Clyde Davis. Yeah, you Who appreciate... the song. Oh, my God. You appreciate Clyde. good songwriting. Hey, your song on this countdown, We All Fall. Tell us about that, Norman. Oh, I'm glad you mentioned that. Dave, that is actually my little girl, Abby, who is now a singer-songwriter, she came to me. I had no idea she wanted to be a singer, songwriter. She'd give me no indication at all. And one day, you know, she says, Dad, I want to do what you do. And I said, what do you mean? She said, I want to write songs and sing. And I said to myself, oh, Lord, no. Are you kidding me? Are you crazy? But anyway, she played me a couple of things that she had secretly recorded on her um, cell phone, 
And as time went on, she got better, and We All Fall came to be when she played me a voicemail, a voice memo that she recorded the chorus of We All Fall, and it was a different verse that went with that chorus. And when I heard it, I said, Abby, you have a great chorus here. I just don't think your verses fit. Let me mess around with it a little bit. And together we came up with We All Fall. Uh, and Abby is the artist on the song. Yeah, you'll hear Abby sing on this one. So this is a father-daughter combo at its best at number eight on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, One Man for All Man, Norman Salete, and you'll hear Abby on vocals with We All Fall. Dad's got to be proud on that one, huh? Jeez. Norman Salid and his daughter, Abby Scott, who just seems like an angel. And now knowing how that song came around, phenomenal. I love talking to Norman. Yeah, really enjoyed that interview. All right, moving on.